Right. You know, and it's easier to blame. Yeah. It's e- it's easier to feel anger. It's it's it, it's not but, but easier. Feel, it's more feel anger for feel anger for what? I mean, they may not have because, because my dad is a talented person. He's a what? And my mom is talented too, and my family is talented, but we are we're not where we. Let me bounce it back for the artists because they couldn't hear you. So I'm talking to Jessica. Jessica is 29. She's five foot seven, 240 pounds. And she said she don't want to go into 30 this way. She said she likes to be married. I was, and I asked her a little bit about her family. You know, her, her parent, her mother and father are married. They're both large people. She has siblings. Most of them are large. She was homeschooled. My point ultimately was this. You know, she didn't go to college. And my point ultimately was after you left the mother and father's house at 18 years old, whatever, whatever age you stop being homeschooled, you've had at least 10 years to get out from under your parents way of looking at things. And you've seen the world. And I asked the question, what have you done from the time you not homeschooled to now to get the weight under control? And the answer was not much. My follow up question is this. You said this has been a recent movement, right? Yes. OK, what? made you decide to start looking at this now? Um, I wasn't happy. <laughs> or I wasn't fulfilled. And but, I uh, I just realized how many things were landing on each other, overlapped each other. Have like, you ever I had a long-term in... relationship? <laughs> no, no, no. Are you a virgin? Mm, no, I waited a long time, but not no, not anymore. Okay, so you waited a long time. Mm-hmm. What's the longest relationship you ever had with a man? It was a, it was a month. I just really didn't like. Oh, have okay. you ever heard? There was this song by Mary J. Blige. No, 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 I need you to listen to me. Um, you've only had a, you've been in a relationship one a month with a man, and you're almost thirty. Um, I need you to unmute yourself, but I, I I can't have when I start speaking. I need you to go ahead and just let me let me talk, because okay. okay. Your mother and father are married. What is your father? Does your father want you to get married? They haven't expressed anything about it. No. Do you? How many? How many siblings do you have? I have four. All all women? All girls? Uh no. Um two are boys, two okay. girls. Okay. Uh, uh and you're the oldest, right? Yes. Are and are the other are the other are the two girls, are they still in school or are they are they um, are they are they no. over eighteen? They're all over eighteen, yes. Okay. And are they overweight too? Yes. And are they all single? Mm, Unmarried? No, not one of them. One's married. Okay. So what I'm not what I'm not understanding here is if she could get married. I was gonna ask you is how's your father helping you with this? Because it's really unusual to hear a woman your age that's only had a one month relationship. But as we even when we were talking about it, I can tell you your social skills need work. Okay. And that is not uncommon for people who are homeschooled. Agreed. So you didn't go to college? No. So what'd you do from the time you 18 to now? I worked. I worked. Yeah. And I didn't go to college because I thought what I wanted to do didn't require college. What, so. what You work doing what? What's your profession? <laughs> I'm, I'm a manager at a, um, at a fast food place. Okay. <laughs> Don't okay. <laughs> I know it's a bad, it's a bad all the way around. I get that. I'm just trying to figure out how to go from here. It's not that I don't understand what you're saying. It's hard to even face it. Sometimes I know where I am. I know that I'm completely not where I should be. I'm. Trying where to should you be? Out. I should at least be um in a 
in a place where I'm able to say yes and no to certain things. Right now, I'm in a place of where do I'm you, do always... You live in, do you live in your own place? I live with um, my sister. We live together. It's a mutual thing. It's not like we're like... I live with my sister. How much are you making annually? 25. Okay. Uh, and what city do you live in? Baton Rouge. Okay. That's a lot of information. <laughs> well, you ain't paying me. You, you ain't paying me. You here's the thing. You ain't paying me. You welcome to go to my website and pay nine hundred forty nine dollars <laughs> for an hour. I, 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 but you can't afford that. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. I mean, you want me to? I, you called in, so you you wanted me. Uh, see, I don't understand you folks who call in and say you want some help and you ain't paying for it. And I need to. No, that's not it. It's I. I don't like giving out a lot of personal. Well, then, then why would you come no, into I mean, a public show? See, we're, this is we're this we're is what I mean, man. This is what I mean, Jessica. Let me let me be honest with you. Don't nobody care about you down the bad route. Don't nobody know you. I don't have your number. You're just okay. a voice on the phone. Got you. Got but you. what I said, your social skills are lacking. Even people when the sound was off could hear that, that something was going amiss. And what I'm trying to understand is, man, if you're five seven, two hundred and forty pounds, and a fast mm -hmm. food manager at twenty at, at, at going on thirty years old, mm -hmm. you've got a lot of problems. You can't even take I care of your, you can't even take care of yourself. And that's going to be what it's going to have to be if you don't get with a man. And what's going to be problematic with a man outside of your height and weight is your lack of social grace. Mm. Okay. Because if you think the questions I'm asking. Why would I, if somebody wanted to date you, don't you think some grown person is going to say, hey. They're going to ask you your age. If they meet you at a, a convenience store, they're going to ask you what you do. And from yes. that point, they're going to ascertain how much you make. That's why you didn't want to say you worked a fast food because we all know that's right. not a... So my thing right. is this. Why do you... You can't why live... That? You can't... Why such <laughs> um, a... Uh, a you, you're chuckling and stuff. And I'm like, well, is this funny? I no, I don't think I'm, it's I don't think it's funny, I'm man. I'm telling you why I don't I don't tell you why I don't think on, on I'm telling you why I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny because I don't think it's funny. I'm okay, not, listen. I'm not to cry. That's what? all. What? Try I'm not, to, not cry. to cry. Well, go That's cry. All. Okay, well, crying is there for a reason. But right. ma'am, you got to do something. You you don't have any okay. You, when somebody looks at a woman who's your height and your weight and your in mm -hmm. your in your education, it just looks like unmotivated, unmoored, right. and right. that's not attractive to a man unless you are just fall out fine. So I said in, earlier, what's keeping you from getting your dropping a hundred pounds? Because that's what it's going to take. I, I understand that. Um, it was, it was really just. And for the people in the audience, there's no medical underlying medical condition. There's no grave disease or nothing. This is a matter of, I said it, you were raised like an average black person and I got pushed back. And then it turned out to be, she's raised like the average black person from a big family. Right. You know good and well, you weigh too much. Right. I and do. You, and so it does not take a brain surgeon or a rocket scientist to know you need to go to a gym. And whatever your knees are and everything else, I don't, that, that, there's still ways to get it done. Right. Why not do that? I, I'm, I am. I'm, I have been working out. It's just, it's, I know that it's going to take an extreme push. I was. Go ahead. How many days a week are you working out? Three or so, whatever I don't work. Well. It can't be three. You need to be in there six. Right. See, this is what I this is why I feel for so many of you you young women. You're 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 not under your your father sounds like he failed you. I'll just be straight up. He's failed you. Allowing you to be the height and weight you are with your with your you're not prepared for the world. So but his his work ended whether whether he did a good job or not i'm going to say he probably did the best that he could but that does not mean is but it's your responsibility to do something after right. age 18 you're an adult yes so it just took it took a long time for me to realize that i couldn't blank them you couldn't what where i was you couldn't do what it took a long 
it took a long time for me. It took a long time for me to realize I couldn't blame my parents right. for where I was. Right. It, that's, right. That's, you know, and it's easier to blame. Yeah. It's e- it's easier to feel anger. It's it's it, it's not but, but feel, easier. It's more feel anger for feel anger for what? I mean, they may not have because, because my dad is a talented person. He's a what? And my mom is talented too, and my family is talented, but we are we're not where we should be. Whoa, we whoa, all have whoa. very natural talents. Whoa, 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 all, whoa, hold, 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 hold on, pumpy breaks, pumpy breaks, pumpy breaks. Yeah, I understand. It 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 was a lot of things that, I, like, I know. Hold on, I didn't hold, have on a hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on. Your mother, your father married your mother, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how long have they been married? it's going to be 30 years. All right. Well, week. even though he may not have been, when I say he failed you, I said allowing you to get to the height and weight you are, but it sounds like he it, married your, hold on. Because when you say judge them, um, that he's talented. Your mom is talented. Everybody's talented and you should be better off. See, this is a problem with you, with you millennials <laughs> in this Instagram generation, looking at, looking at Instagram, comparing, uh, who are you comparing your family to? I'm not comparing them. I well, know you said we're not where we should be. Who? Where is that? What does that mean? You're in. You're in one of the poorest I states. Just, of, what listen. I, what I mean. Listen. You, you asked me a question. So no, you listen. You asked, All right. You're in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Your parents, your family, your father and mother had a responsibility to make sure you were fed, protected. Secure and educated. Did they right. do that? Yes. Then they did their job. I get that. Yeah. So when I say when I say he failed you is to allow you to get to be the height and weight you are and not let you know that sit baby girl, you ain't that's only you can't be that size and get a man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> sure. But mama but mama got her man. Sis got her man. At the end of the day, what I'm hearing is um, a lot of outward stuff. And I'm not hearing a lot of stuff that you're doing. I don't care how broke you are. The, you can go to the, the you you can go to Planet Fitness for ten dollars a month, yes? Yes. All right, then why are you only in there three days a week? Uh, I was only doing it when I'm off. Ma'am, I don't want to hear that BS. I, I, I'm quite sure I work more than you. And I'm in the gym. See, you got a problem. Your weight. And the solution is simple. Work out. Drink water. Eat more healthy. And you got to go do that. But every time I ask you, why aren't you in there more? There's a reason. There is no magic bullet. There's no magic pill. I got that. But what it sounds to me is though you really lack the the motivation to do what's necessary to get the outcome it is you say you want. But that's not your that's no one's problem but yours. That's not your parents' problem. Right. But I, but let's say the other let's say the other side. Let's continue let's say this continues to go down this way. What does life look like? No, it's not. It's not. I've been no. Okay. I've lost weight and I'm keep going. I'm not doing this. Come on. How much? Have, what's your goal weight? Um, I don't know. It's going to be around one sixty. It's still too much weight. <laughs> I'm not excusing myself, but I don't. My my body carries weight a certain way. And ma'am, I ma'am, I, ma'am, look, ma'am, ma'am, I know it, no, ma'am, look, ma'am, I ma'am, I think ma'am, she's gonna be under, under 160. No, see, I want people in the chat room. This is someone coming to an image consultant, telling, yeah, 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 but the way my body is set up, no, you're human. But the reason I muted her is because this is this is a this is a uh. An issue in the black community. You have women who have allowed themselves to get into the size they are. And then when someone tells you that you need to be at a normal weight, she resists. This is why I'm not trying to be 
as easy as I can, man, but 160 is still too much. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and open it up because, you know, uh, I don't know how you what you want me to do to assist you. Sound like you know everything you need to do. And, but I'll be honest. To, to me, really to, to me, to me, ma'am, to me, to me, ma'am, it mm -hmm. does not sound like you're really ready to do the work. You're ready to do what you want to do, but you're not ready to do what okay. you have to do. And if you don't do okay. what you have to do, if you lost 20 pounds in two months, Okay, and if you've been a large girl since you were in high school or or, or high school age, yes, high, school. high school age, yeah. that means the majority of your life you've been unhealthy. That means even when you get down to 160 pounds, the likelihood of you staying at that weight is very un, it's not very likely. Fluctuate problem with weight over and over and over. And then once you get down to 160, then what? There's still people skills and stuff that needs to be done. That's I mean. Your one of your biggest problems is you don't make enough money to do anything. Because I would say, have you talked yeah. to a therapist or a counselor or, or somebody? Because there are a lot of there are things going on with you, man, that I'm not qualified to diagnose, but I know it when I hear it. But at making twelve fifty an hour, um, this is this is not going to end well. And and I'm from Oklahoma, where I see a lot of this. And it, it, you're 29 right now; it's going to really be tight. When you're doing this at 45, I've seen it all the time growing up and I can understand you, uh, you know, the feelings and everything, but I have to be honest with you and tell you, I hear it, but you need to turn those tears into motivation to get yourself in the gym six days a week and get on a healthy lifestyle and to get into a, get, and go talk to whoever, go, st I don't know, government assistance, state program, uh, whatever company you work for, they got an employee system line, you need to go talk to somebody. Because you're living below, I mean, almost at the poverty line. And over, and the people I talked uh, with, and typically over here, are way on the other side. So I'm trying to give you what I can give you. But you got to increase your income to be able to take care of yourself. Because if all this comes down to, you know, trying to, uh, a man who want to get married. Um, this really was what it was about. Well, what is it? I'm, I'm just trying to present myself in the world the way I want to be. Well, that was about that too, but that's a part okay. of it. It's the whole thing. But I, I appreciate your truthfulness. Well, presenting it to, presenting yourself to the world, but you also got to be realistic with where you're at. And, yes. Um, and you, presenting yourself to the world is a hell of a lot easier when you start doing the work. See, like I said at the, at the beginning of our call, I'm not hearing, I'm hear, I'm not hearing the desire to really do it. Yeah, I've always had motivational problems. Well, and unfortunately, <laughs> that that. It shows itself in a person's weight. That's one of the first things I said when I was talking to people. What folks associate with this shows up in a weight. And um, unfortunately, especially our black women, you're, that leads to a life of being basically a spinster, a, a childless woman. And that's and, I, and my aunts were like that. You, you don't want to go through life like that. But I, I wish you all the best. I do. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, guys. Um, see, I don't know why I cut so much in the car. Let me tell you something why tears don't affect me. I mean, I can hear them, but I can't. What, 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 are, you crying, what are we crying for? I got to be real. What are we crying for? Cry, then what? There has to be some more what? And far too often, especially in black community, we've stopped at the, oh, this is hurt. This hurts. No, I look at what's going to go on down the line. If you don't get, so many of our women are in this position. 80% of black women are overweight. 80% of those are obese. Let me see. I want to hear from the ladies. who. This is about overvaluing themselves. Uh, ladies overvaluing themselves. Or trying to figure out where they rank in five, six, and sevens. Katrina, what's going on? This is wrong. Well, goodbye, Mel.
Somebody get Mel Mel out of here. Yes, Katrina. Let me go ahead and get you up out of here. Dude. He has no right to tell a woman what I just told you. Yeah, sure I do. And you have no right to be in my chat room. Don't come back. People like Mel Mel are your enemy, ladies. That's I I I I'm to I'm, I'm go ahead and I want to go ahead. People like Mel Mel are your enemy. People who just want to tell you it's okay, everything will be all right. Pray it away. God got a plan for you. Blah blah blah. On this, other than when you recognize you're dealing with an image consultant who's not going to allow you to tell me that uh 160 pounds is a a good weight on a woman. At your body weight. No, that just shows me how shows how far we've gone as, as people. No. And unfortunately, there's is an enabler. I, I, and I like to point people like that out. Mel Mel, la ladies, you need to run from men like that. You need to run from guys like that. They're the reason that they're, they're, they're enabling you to stay stuck. Guys like that, if that's a man, it's guys like that who want to keep you in an unhealthy position so they can take advantage of you. More likely than not. Let her, let her stay in a position where she feels vulnerable so he ain't got to do nothing. So no. That's why I make it very clear I only want to deal with high-value men over here because high-value men move in a completely different way than dusty-minded men. I said this last night in my group, and I'm going to share it here. Look to your left, ladies. Look to your left. Look to your right. If you don't see men dressed like men, standing like men, speaking like men, acting like men, FBI women should exit stage left. This includes your most liked or preferred establishment. Ladies, CIA men are your best barometer of any environment. So if you hear a bunch of men telling you, go ahead, dream your dream, sis, manifest your this and that, da, 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 da. Yeah, you choose to stay there if you want to. I don't know what that is. And if it's a woman, and if it's a woman, she's and it, if male male was a guy, it's one thing. But it's even worse if it's a woman. If male male is a woman, it's even worse. I'll tell you why. Because she should know better. You should, women should care more. Women typically got each other's back. But see, Misery loves company. And I guarantee you, male, male, if it, if it was a woman, and any woman is wearing a size two or size four, she's probably wearing a size 24. Run from these people. Black folk, we need to start, black women, you need to start calling out the people that keep you stuck. Not hey everyone, welcome back to the Spotlight News. Hope you're live and clearly. Let's thank for the almighty God for keeping us blessed and for keeping us safe. From morning up to evening, we are alive and still we are the ones. Many didn't make it up, make it up to life and we are okay and live and clear. As you hear me, but it's all the almighty God. As we proceed, let's pray for the special people, those who are sick in the hospital. And let's pray for the those who have lost their loved ones may god confess them may god keep them strong may god pull the healing power over them thank you for that and god thank you for the gift of life as we start our show today we are going to talk about this lady according to her voice you may think she is crying and yeah all i can say i know a crying person i think she's crying over Failed, failed love, failed relationships, divorces, and so on. So, ladies, we are so emotionally attached. So, in the emotional attached, you come to the life, you want to know what you really want to know. And at the end of the day, what makes you being smoked is one. You don't want to sit and listen to the person who is doing interview over you. You act desperate to know the truth but if you they tell you the truth at times you end up being you end up fixing in your emotions at the end of the day you end up losing control over yourself one last thing you should lose is control over yourself because if you can't control your emotions if you can't control yourself emotions will work upon you 
you can't control yourself because emotions are working upon you so at the end of the day you end up messing around you end up losing everything you end up losing yourself as a person but why should you reach to the extent of losing yourself of not standing like by your side as a lady you should stand and say no to anything that comes across your mind even when you you're, you're defeated mentally stand and be straightforward that will help you in one way or the life in one way or the other so ladies let's try let's try to be control let's try to control our emotions and if you can control your emotions my dear you're going to win in any way you because you will lack you will not use your control to speak what you're not supposed to speak you will control yourself so that you can answer in a proper way so that you're not judged in one way or the other so i think this lady she's controlled by emotions and she doesn't want to admit the fact that she is what she is first of all first admit to the fact that this is me i'm not going to change i'm going to change when i'm you know it's easy to tell someone who's willing to change than telling someone who's willing to get comfort zone you know some ladies i've seen a lot of ladies call in because they want to get comfort zone they want to be comforted they want to be hold in the community well they want to be promoted they want to be praised at the end of the day when they are told the truth it hurts them deeply inside their hearts but why would you want someone to speak to you the fake lies than someone who tells you the real truth because someone who speaks lively you will get hurt but at the end of the day you're collecting yourself then telling then someone who told you a lie at the end of the day you're messing up and these are the same people who are going to sit high on the table and laugh at your head and laugh at your nonsense and laugh at you you know so let's try to build ourselves in a way that we cannot lose control over ourselves we cannot lose control over our okay no weapons formed against you should prosper if you can stand as a lady and admit the truth that that is what you are and you need to sh change it yeah so i think that brings us today but as we proceed we are still in the donation season we are donating to street kids those who lack parents and the on streets of towns uh we are donating to all people those who have really in numbers and they can't help themselves out in one way or the other we are reaching out to them we are helping people with special diseases like hyperpolarities and that is hitting up the most high number and someone get that disease it affects the person someone becomes polarized most especially it's in kids at the end of the day you you end up seeing some men even run away from their families you end up seeing mothers struggling to bring their kids to life and at the end of the day it can affect their job or one way or the other they lack what they lack support we reach out and share with them the little we have because why not these are healthy things we are going to leave them and you should help one person you never know you're bringing someone's life to hope or you're bringing you're giving someone hope and to see the next day so if you have a little and you can share it's okay you can tap on on our numbers there you can whatsapp and we see what to do or you can help someone in your community or where you are yes let me wish you a good day and a blessed day bye bye may god bless you and stay tuned this is polar news bye bye love you all